Hello, today is March 24th, 2021. This is Give West virtual planning meeting. Documents discussed during this meeting will be available for your input on March 31st to April 2nd, 2021. If you need help filling out the documents or the forms or this survey, please do not hesitate in contacting Ms. Garcia. She's our parent center coordinator. She will support you um, in completing the forms. Our agenda for today, we're gonna to do a welcome. We're gonna review data and school goals. We're gonna review the plan and the promise, our budget, we're gonna talk a little bit about staff training and the input that we need. Gwinnett County um, Public School District input forms that we also will need. Improvement plan strategies, direction for 2020, 2021. Family and community engagement plan. Title I family engagement budget. Document review period and closing and evaluation discussions. Welcome and thank you for attending this meeting. This is our Title I planning meeting for 2021-2022 school year. The federal guideline requires that Title I schools hold an annual meeting to explain and discuss the Title I school-wide program and requirements. The purpose of the meeting is to ensure that all families and community members share in the decision making process. Give West and Gwinnett County Public School work hand in hand to provide the best support to our families and the community. And if you look at this table that's outlined here, you will see that Give West and um, GPCS district uh, levels are the same, they're parallel. We have our local school plan um, for improvement. The district has their uh, school improvement plan. Um, we have our family and community engagement plan and school family promise. The district has um, a family and community engagement plan. We have our Title I budget and the district also have um, their Title I budget. Title I is the largest federal assistance program for schools. Title I provides support to students who are not, who are at um, risk of not meeting state academic standard. Title I supports parents by offering workshops and training opportunities to increase involvement in their child's education. Gwinnett County Public School receives Title I funds from the U.S. Department of Education via the Georgia Department of Education to provide additional resources to assist with the education of our children. As we discussed, um, as far as the local school improvement or um, plan and our input form is concerned, this document is really important because it tells us how to meet the needs of our students in our community. Without your suggestions, your recommendations, or your advice, we um, are just pretty much doing our own and that's not what the plan and the promise is all about. The link um, for this input form will be in our school website starting March 31st to April 2nd. So please do not hesitate to complete this form as soon as um, this presentation is over. Data and school goals. So um, every year, parents are asked to complete a, um, a parent perception survey. And this survey contains questions about various aspects of school climate. Um, on these items, parents have the options of uh, se se selecting strongly disagree, agree, um, disagree, strongly agree, um, don't know. Uh, all the items um, are awarded in a worded in a positive mode. Um, so strongly agree always means the most positive perception. Items that measure the same aspect of school climate are grouped together 
and average to make theme scores. And so if we look at the 2019, 2021 results, um, we're going to look at that first and then compare it to our current result. We see above on the right hand side where the star is that our overall score was a 3.2. Um, and this is this is in the the from a, a, a scale of one being low to four being the highest. We're in a good scale. Our, our our goal is to definitely go up to a four, and that's what we're working on. However, when we look at the the parent perception survey participants, we only had six parents to complete the survey last year. And so this is really, really on the low side compared to the amount of students that we have. We need our community more involved. We need our parents more involved in completing this survey. The survey that we, um, the results that we have here from 2019, 2020 shows that we needed improvement with our citizenship. That's the lowest with a 2.9. Um, where students show respect to others at school and students use good work habits at school. That's on the low range. Um, and the uh, second low range is our instruction and our technology. And then we go with our engagement. These are, when I say low, it's not a one, it's not a two. But for us, again, our goal is a four. So when you look at it on that scale, you know, we're still working to get to that four. This is our 2021 um, um, school improvement, uh, I'm sorry, parent participation survey results. And um, just by looking at this data, what are some things that you notice? I'm going to give you a quick minute if you can um, open up your chat box and just type in some things that you notice here um, about this data. Okay, so let's look first um, at the star and we're looking at, at our score, which is a 3.46. And if you remember our last um, year score was a 3.2. So that went up a bit. Um, and our completion survey is 21 um, participants this year compared to the six. Again, 21 is still on the low range. However, it's a lot better than last year. And again, we're moving up. We need more parents. We need more participants to get this survey at a good, um, reliable level that we can um, look at this data. However, our themes that we have here um, there are some changes in, in uh, ranks and rates and things like that in our, in our uh, theme. When we look at our lowest one, which was a 2.9, it's now a uh, 3.39, which is a huge improvement. And then our second was the instruction and technology. Both went up quite a bit. And then our engagement also went up quite a bit. So we are making the strides to get to that four ranking um, or that four level. Uh, we still need more to go and we're definitely working on that, but this is good, a good start for us. Our school profile um, data, something that you might wonder about, what is something that can, or is your puzzle about this data? I'm just going to give you a minute to look over the data and then we'll talk about it. Again, you can just make notes in your chat box, please, um, and then we're going to discuss it. Okay, just a little bit of background about this um, school profile data. Under the federal um, government, every student um, succeed act, the ESSA, replaced um, the No Child Left Behind Act, which was passed in 2015. This states that schools are required to have a 
statewide accountability system that provides information on how well schools are performing. In our 2019 score for our CCRPI, which is our College and Career Readiness Performance Index, we ranked a 4.2. Uh, which is a lot higher than we did last year. Uh, we are moving again towards upward bound strides. Um, with this data, the administration, um, teachers cannot make effective instructional decisions um, without the use of the information that we find in this data. Building a school profile that clearly identifies areas of success, um, deficiencies, achievement gap, and perception is a first step towards making school or programs improvement at Give West. And so we use this data and we look at what is going on currently. We look at the trends within this data to make future um, professional development, um, to make our, uh, our, um, our um, testing um, equivalent, to look at our, our goals as far as you know, uh, student improvement. Um, if we look at our school demographic information, we'll see that um, our gifted students are increasing. Our EL babies are pretty much the same um, within the last three years. And so is our um, general education students. Our attendance, um, it's, it's on the lower level this year. And, and again, we are in a COVID-19 pandemic still, and some students are definitely staying home, doing digital and struggling with that. And so that's where a lot of our attendance are coming in. Um, our teacher attendance, if we look at that, we'll see that we have made a huge decrease in sick days per teachers um, as, and um, with personal days. So that, that's very um, good as far as this data is concerned. Our discipline data um, has decreased, and that shows that um, we are definitely moving towards good stride, but however, we're still in a COVID um, pandemic um, situation where students are not on campus as much as we would like them to be. And thus, um, our score is um, a little bit on the low side as far as um, um, discipline is concerned, which is a good thing but we definitely need our students back in the building and um, being able to function within our classroom. Local school plan for improvement. This is a draft document that will continue as we go along. Um, we will make changes as needed because we want to provide the best service for our students, our community and our community. Our goal, um, for the 2021-2022 school year is Give West um, Center um, students raw scores will show percentage growth gains that are equal to or exceed GCPS average growth gains on district assessment in language arts, math, science, and social studies. The second goal is to um, increase the student cohort's graduation rate Full-time students in grades 6 to 12 will earn an average of 3.0 credits per semester in 2021-2022. Please note that middle school first semester classes will be converted to a half a credit for calculation purposes. And our third goal is to decrease percentage of students who return to a disciplinary panel um, to 5.5% in 2021-2022 school year. The main thing about our local school improvement is that how we accomplish these goals and, and how we plan to accomplish these goals is to implement activities, continue to implement activities, continue to build parent capacity activities, um, continue to provide uh, professional development for our teachers, um, continue to reach out to our com community for support. Um, the admin team will definitely continue to collaborate, analyze, pace, plan, implement, and assess instructions using our Quality Plus strategies. 
Parent support um, the, and the community support is very important. We will continue to offer workshops and meetings and activities to bring parents in to see what Gift Center has and what we offer um, their children. Family and community engagement plan. The plan, the promise. Formally, the compact was established, um, is established for schools' expectations, for parents and family engagement, describes how the school will implement a number of specific meaningful family engagement activities designed to increase student academic achievement. It serves as an agreement that parents, students, and teachers develop together, explaining how they were partnered to ensure that students meet state and district academic standards. The promise is the same thing. Um, the difference is, is that it's tied into our school goal. It's focused specifically on academic skills, and then it targets content area and connects the school, parent, students, um, and, um, and teachers responsible um, for academic skills. Reviewing this document, which can be found on our website or in our parent center is really important because we need your feedback. If we need to make changes in this plan, um, we need to know. So please do not hesitate in filling out the local school in, in, uh, input form um, and the link will be attached um, to this, to our website budget. What you see right now on the screen is our 2020-2021 school budget. This is our initial budget that we received at the beginning of the year. And this is what we have right now. We do not have our current budget, which is the 2021-22 school year. And we will not have that until um, we start back school in August. However, um, just a review of what we um, allocated using this budget. We spent majority of the money um, on teaching positions, and then we did a little bit for direct instruction and family engagement. It's important to note also that we receive federal funds that separate um, from this allocation to support teaching and learning here at Give West. And we were able to um, do a lot of um, purchasing of Chromebooks and subscriptions, which we'll talk about a little bit later um, with those funds. This is another breakdown of the initial allocation of our budget. As you can see, 99% went to um, teaching position, 1% went to direct instruction and family engagement. This is our wish list um, that we had and that we will work on as far as purchasing um, support and item materials for our teachers. We have Chromebooks that we uh, purchased, um, IXL, US Test Prep subscriptions, magazine subscriptions. Um, we did a lot of subscriptions um, being um, digital learning um, learn, uh, phase of our teaching and learning right now to support our students who are at home. Our wish list will go out again and you will be able to review that document and see what um, are things that the teacher require to best support them and their students. Staff training. We need your input. It's really important that you let us know how we can better support your student. Um, we won't, we know what we need to do as far as teaching is concerned and as far as learning is concerned, but we definitely need um, more input from you parents and from our community to do this. So please do not forget to um, put, do, uh, submit your suggestions, recommendations, um, or even revisions on our, our local school planning um, input form. And again, that link will be on the website. GCPS district input. So this is a similar form for my local input and this is um, the district input. I'm about to go into just a kind of review about what the district is supporting and how the district is supporting our students, our teachers, our community, um, our parents. Um, and But 
we still need some recommendations and suggestions from you. So if you do not mind um, to, again, this is an important document. Um, it'll be in a form again on this website after our meeting. And we just need your suggestions on um, TCPS family and community engagement plan. What do you think about it? What changes that can be made? And what about that 1% set aside for family engagement activity, which we'll talk a little bit more about in this presentation, but 1% is of the budget is allocated specifically for family engagement. Should it be more? Should it be less? Where, what exactly um, do you suggest that we do um, with this money other than what is allocated here by the district? So please go into the district input form and complete that as well. So this is the district improvement strategy directions for 2020, 2030. Um, and after you review this form and some of the other forms that I'm going to show you, you can go back in and complete the input form for the district. Uh, this pretty much is a projection of where the county started off in 2020 and where they want to go in 2020 by 2023 and it's important to look at the snapshot because it includes students family employees the community um and how it is all being put together to um realize the vision and the mission and the goal and strategy goals for Gwinnett County Public School. So if you can take a minute and just kind of look over this form, over this um, flyer, the flyer is posted on our website um, and also it is posted on Gwinnett County Public School website. Gwinnett County Public School Strategy Direction. This is just a breakdown of how our people, our business, and um, our pursuit of excellence uh, brings Gwinnett County public schools together to form a cohesive collaboration. We look at our students, our employees, our families. We look at the curriculum, the instruction, the assessments, the technology, the data resources that we have. And then we look at the pursuit of excellence. Where do we want to go with all this information? We have innovation that we're thinking about, how to communicate it to the parent, our operations, and our governance and leadership roles um, that all play a part in bringing this together. This document can be found on our school website and also on, on Gwinnett County Public Schools website. Gwinnett County Public School District Family Engagement. This is very specific. Um, it does detail our plan and our promise and aspects of Gwinnett County Public School that we want our, our parents and our community to know about. Um, the link is um, available on our school website and Gwinnett County Public School website. This document is in English and it's also in Spanish for parents to view. You can also get this document in other language and those languages are on the Gwinnett County Public School website. Uh, GCPS family and community engagement is really important. It's a joint effort um, between our families, our parents, our um, teachers, school staff, community members to develop this plan. Um, it involves a monthly board meeting, local school counseling meeting, parents advisory meeting, meeting school local plan, um, and local school planning meetings. It involves um, the federal program providing support for schools through Title I um, that involves ongoing guidance and regular monitoring, annual evaluation, like our, our parent perspective surveys. Um, it involves um, the coordination of our services, the collaboration um, between our teachers and our leadership group. Um, it involves um, um, working um, with our parents in the capacity of workshops, um, of promoting uh, kindergarten um, activities, offering play to learn sessions for our elementary babies, 
Um, it provides transition workshops. It provides high school assistance with students exiting and going on to college and things like that. It also provides partnership with Gwinnett County Tech for adults um, in the ELS program and for them for GED. Building capacity for parents involve workshops, designing support person for them like Ms. Garcia, providing them with resources. They're able to come into the parent center to check out books, work on technology, to print things out, and even work on uh, language transitions as well. Opportunities for parents to participate in discussion like this meeting. We have our annual meeting at the beginning of the year, our um, planning meeting at the end of the year. We also have different workshops during the year um, that parents can participate in. One percent family engagement set aside. Now, this is really important because one percent of the Gwinnett County Public School Title One budget supports family engagement and is equally divided to all Title One schools to partially fund a parent support person and or to fund family engagement at schools. So, one percent of this um, of the allocation initial allocation budget that we get is put aside for supporting. Um, family engagement at Give West. And this is important because our family um, engagement is funded to support our parent center, our parent resources, and different activities that we have that parents can participate in at the school, like our workshops. All right, I just wanna remind you one last time that document review um, period starts off on um, March 31st to April 2nd. It's really important that um, once you finish and you can log on and, and upload um, and, and, and complete that document, it's really important um, because we need your input. It, please don't take that lightly. We just don't get this document and throw it away. We look at it, we find ways to better support our parents, better support our communities. But if you need help filling out this form, please don't hesitate in contacting Ms. Garcia. She is available through her email and by calling her. Thank you so much for um, logging on, for participating. This meeting is important. Um, we value your input. Um, what other opportunities do family have to provide input regarding Title I? Definitely contact myself. Um, my name is Dr. Hamlet or Ms. Garcia um, at the Parent Center, um, and we will provide you with uh, excellent support. Um, what, we, what we will be doing with the information that you provided, we're going to take that information and we are going to use it to develop our Title I program here at Give West. We definitely want to make sure that parents are respected, their time is respected, and thus their input and suggestions are um, also respected. So thank you again. Please do not hesitate in contacting myself or Ms. Garcia should you have any questions at all. Please enjoy your day, but don't forget to complete your input forms. Thank you again and have a great day.